the first time he called Maple from the pasture, she just turned around and looked at him and came running up. And I was like, why doesn't she do that with me? Here she comes! Here she comes! Whenever she comes up to the fence, I, I just think it's incredible. It makes me think it was just meant to be. You think you're tough stuff, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Maple was always completely gentle with him. Maybe. Hi, Maybe. Hello. <laughs> they both are so comfortable with each other. And they just love that physical touch and companionship. He helps me feed her. He loves to brush her. Go ahead, brush her. You smart cookie. Maple just knows that he's a little person and to be careful with him. trust her so much with him. The first time I had him walk May May, he was just so proud of himself. It will walk May May. You walk May May. Walk around. Good job. Good job. Very good. Thank you. He was a natural at it and Maple knew to not try to rush him. We got him a little rideable tractor for his birthday. You getting a log? I'd get on Maple and he'd get on his tractor and we would just ride around the property. I set her reins down and she just kept following him and I'm like, wherever Colton goes, I know that Maple's gonna follow. <laughs> she just follows him. When we're away and he knows we're coming home, the first thing he has to do is see May May. Color. He is always wanting to go outside and be with Maple, and I can't blame him because I do too. <laughs> they already have that bond, they already have that trust. He's already a very calm horse that's eager to learn. I can just see them learning together and growing. 